Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your Beyblade. He told me enough. He told me you destroyed it. No, I am your Beyblade. No, that's important. Alrighty, so let's talk about something that is really, really weird for Beyblade X. We have a collaboration with Star Wars. This isn't actually an official product. It, it, it's a real collab, something I would have never thought we would actually see. I guess Hasbro's just trying to use whatever they can to try to get these crossover stuff. I think uh, this is like a Toys R Us for like 40 bucks. Um, yeah, so it's safe enough to say this thing costs a lot. And is it worth it? I tried yeah. to ask Keo for any help on what the hell this is because I don't really watch Star Wars. I know the basic stuff, like Luke is the protagonist, Vader's the antagonist, Vader's the Dark Emperor, and Luke's trying to free the galaxy or whatever, but um, yeah, that's, I don't know, we're gonna open it and then after we're gonna see. Alrighty, let's get this over with. Let it rip. Okay, I actually got it that time. Let it rip. Nope, see, almost. Well. So your blade is the main thing that makes contact with your opponent. Your ratchet determines both height and burst resistance. Your bit also determines burst resistance, but your movement pattern as well. So let's talk about the Luke Skywalker blade. So this is an echo of a previously established blade, which is Helm Knight. So basically what Hasbro is doing whenever they do these releases is they'll basically just get a pre-existing bay, they'll modify it a little bit, and then after you kind of get it. I mean, specifically, this is like the Takara Tomi designers to work with Hasbro, just to be clear, but yeah, nonetheless, this is modified quite a bit. Um, they have kind of probably changed that imbalance that uh, Helm Knight has. You know, the imbalance in terms of gameplay design, what does that basically mean? It's when they kind of raise certain parts in the metal and they do that just for like game balance sake. So that would be like, for an example, a Helm Knight's defense type to make sure it doesn't have crazy stamina. They make sure it has an imbalance. When they kind of put this on every single echo of a bay, it's kind of odd, uh, especially when they modify the design, but whatever. Luke kind of just looks like a more hollowed version of uh, Helm Knight. Now, Helm Knight's whole idea is shock absorption. I mean, the holes uh, on the blade are a lot smaller than Helm Knight's. I'm not too sure if this is gonna have any use, if it's just gonna be a slightly shittier version of Helm Knight's, but moving on, we do get our ratchet, which is 480. So this is what I considered the worst ratchet, probably, at least for Hasbro Beyblade X right now. It four sides is absolutely terrible. It's very easy to burst and get destroyed, especially at the 80 height. If Even if you manage to find some combo that can work, the burst risk, I think, is just too, too high. I don't, I don't like this ratchet. Of course, still test to see what works best for you. Your ball bed, just a basic solid bit that's good for stamina. Not really much else other than that. And then after you have Darth Vader as a bay, which is probably one of the most wildest things I've managed to say uh, this year. But I mean, we've, we've seen the other collaborations, so I'm not too, too surprised. So Vader is a modified version of Lance Knight. Uh, I'm assuming they changed a little bit of uh, the imbalance on here. It does seem a little bit more hollowed uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure what use this is going to have. This is a more rounded off version than Lance Knight, so maybe maybe has stamina. Maybe it has more stamina, maybe more defense. I already think Lance is kind of mid, so I mean, I haven't tested it, so I don't know if this is going to be like even worse or if this will just be okay. Um, but yeah, Vader at least, I don't know, looks all right. They also gave this 460, and I already ranted on the four sides, so we do need to go through it again. But I mean, at least at 60 height, it's not that much of a bother, I would say. Moving on to the best part of this is probably going to be the point bit. Point is a very solid bit because you can be regular. If you stand still, you just have that ball kind of working around in the stadium and have the stamina. Or if you kind of slightly tilt, you have the aggression. It's a very solid balance bit overall that has very good stamina and attack power and probably what I would say is one of the best bits to use in Beyblade X. Alrighty, we have our scale set up here. How heavy is Luke Skywalker? 30.09 versus 30. So I'm assuming that low end is going to be a little bit below 29. How heavy is Vader? 30.66, nice. Okay, so I mean, on I mean, these are these are not really these are not really the most ideal, but uh, it, it it is what it is, right? Like a I don't know, I'll I'll, I'll take what I can get with these things, I guess. Um, Four sixty, yeah, it's kind of odd how they really are on like uh, the bottom for these weights. I do like we do get the point. The point is always a nice benefit out of this two pack. I was also kind of confused because I thought the way they were setting this up was going to be this idea that like. It builds on the base, so it almost looks like it's a lightsaber. 
because it's like black, then gray, then on the top it's like that. But then after I'm like, oh, the, they're not really committed to this because of the Vader. This is borderline reddish orange either way, but yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's just Lance, but more rounded off. And that's the similar thing that uh, the Thanos collab did where it's a little bit more of an imbalance raise. I don't know what use this will have. Eventually we'll have to do testings to uh, see, but yeah. The Luke, I still hate this PNG that they used. It looks really, really awful. Would've been nice if, like I've always been saying, if we actually had nice proper custom art. Well, I mean, technically we do, but like in the Beyblade X art style, that would've been nice. Um, I mean, at least this comes with like ball and point or whatever, but it's like 40 bucks Canadian, I'm pretty sure. I like Toys R Us, I had to get this for, so not really too sure how much I'm gonna care for these. Uh, one quick thing to mention, by the way, since this is how Beyblade X works to assemble, you have to obviously twist to lock. Now, if I have a bit like ball, where the shaft has no resistance on there, it's gonna be very easy to turn it on lock because there's nothing that's stopping it. Now, if I get the bit that it comes with, which is point, which you can see there's a thick resistor on there, it is going to be blocking. It's gonna be a little bit harder to twist to unlock. And this is not the end-all be-all for combinations, just things to consider with bits that have different resistance. So I'm joined here by the talented blader that is my mother. We're gonna first launch with one of these Star Wars launchers. Three, two, one, like, rip. So these launchers are really bad. Um, obviously they're just picking it for like the cost or whatever, there's a reason. Uh, but I would recommend, please, you just get a winder launcher or you get a string launcher. It's better to grip, better to use, and overall better for event stuff. Anyone saying otherwise is coping. Um, so let's do a proper test launch now. Three gentlemen rip. So yeah, this build's just gonna go kind of like this. Okay. Three gentlemen rip. This one's gonna go a little bit aggressive around the stadium. Very nice. Okay, so let's try to do Vader versus Luke. So you can pick either the good or the evil. Okay. Three gentlemen rip. Three gentlemen rip. Okay, so I'm gonna give it out. That KO is mine. So I'm leading right now with two points. Three gentlemen rip. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, are you kidding me? We're gonna swap now? Yeah. Because I'm one. winning. <laughs> okay, so three gentlemen rip. Three gentlemen rip. Okay, we're doing another round. Let's see who gets it. I better get it because I'm telling you. So I've already been you by an extreme finish. I did. Oh, you did. Huh? It's probably gonna get another KO. Oh my god. Finally! Oh, I yay! Wanted to make sure you at least got one point. Thanks. Because otherwise it gets boring if Stop I just it. won again. Like I'm always I'm pretty sure I win. When it gets boring. Look at that. Oh, mm. it's three to one. You wanna lose now? Yeah. You have a rip. I say less. Fuck off! No way! What the fuck? Do you have a rip? You get another chance. I'm just better. Oh, no rip. Sorry about this, but no, you're finished. You're finished. Uh, you're finished. Lincoln, you'll miss I feel it. really bad. Next up, we have Luke versus Shark. What do you want? I want Shark. Screw those stupid okay. things. Okay. rip. Let's see how Luke does against a, a combination oh, no. that's very aggressive. It's okay. 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 Rip. It's another victory. I just I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's so easy to win. Please. Oh my god, it's one to two. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, you, you, you either got a full set or you didn't. I, I wasn't too sure. Oh my god. Oh, nice, huh? I'm using the force right now. Get away from me. <laughs> Woo! Listen. Right now, you're losing. You're losing. You only hate this stadium when you start losing. Yeah. There's a rip. Watch the camera. Watch the camera. No, it's okay. Oh, you got a first. Alrighty, next up, let's try Vader against Shark. There's a rip. There's a rip. So if I actually try now, I'm assuming I win. 
So you only got one KO, all right? It's one KO so far. Oh, three jump break. Come on. Let me, eh. Go! Three jump rip. If you don't, come on. I'm trying. Obviously, I'm trying. It's awful. It's so depressing. You got one point at least. You didn't get lose by extreme. You got okay. one more chance. You think that's the same? I know. I was laughing. One Scythe Incendio on ball against Luke Skywalker. Who's going to win? Three jump rip. I didn't realize he's not here. Doing low rip. I couldn't even launch hard. I couldn't even launch hard. I wasn't laughing too much. <laughs> Loser. Blink and you'll miss it. Blink, blink. I gotta push you down a little bit. I don't know what, what you're, what's, what's going on with you today. You just keep losing. I know. <laughs> the phaser is just really bad. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Rip. I don't know how to tell you this, but you do lose. <laughs> Three of them rip. I couldn't even. You did so many miss launches. I don't even know how to keep it in the video. I had to take it out. Really? Yeah, and you still probably lose. Okay, I need one more. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're getting one more. Oh, and it was a burst! Do the rip! Do the rip! Do the rip! Is it mine or yours? Say it! Wow! Come on, that was awesome! We got Alrighty, final thoughts. Is the two pack of Vader and Luke worth getting? Well, I would probably say this much. Uh, I mean, same same like the other ones. I don't really know if there's this much, there's that much value on this. There are other two packs if you want to get point on it, like the unicorn uh, two pack that is the point bit. The the issue I have with this is just it, the blades are kind of clap. The ratchet choice is whatever. I mean, the bits are like I guess ball and point are nice, but should you be rushing out to spend forty Canadian on this? Nah. Is it, even if it was slightly less, even if it was like, let's assume the same as the other two packs, these are just not that appealing to me. Well, anyways, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts. And as well, mollabase.com, we have Japanese Beyblade X products, Beyblade Burst products. It is an optional way to support the channel. I appreciate any and all support regardless. Yeah, that's kind of it for this video. I'm probably gonna be trying to do another review in that other two pack, but we have other videos and reviews. We also have our Amazon affiliate link, which you'll probably see some some image somewhere on the screen on here, but that's gonna be it for now. Which are you? Are you on the good side or the bad side? The the Jedi's or the? Oh my God! What's the evil side called again? Shit! The Jedi's or the Sith? The Jedi's or the Sith? I didn't search it. I didn't search it. I almost got it. I almost got it. Okay, so. <laughs> That's going to be it for now. Thank you all for watching. That's going to be it again. Uh, take care and bye.